welcome to the hobby then. Today we're gonna do a little review on Prism, a new product that just came out for retail today. So we got the Prism Cello, Prism Blaster, Prism Hanger, and Prism Mega. So we'll kind of go through the differences between them and what you should get, what I recommend. Um, so with the hangers, or sorry, the cello packs, they're gonna have two packs in them. One, your regular pack with 12 cards, and then your exclusive pack of red, white, and blue. And then the best cards out of here you'll be able to pull are gonna be your silvers, and that's it. So the best thing you can get out of here is your silver, Mac Jones, Trevor Lawrence, etc. There's no numbered cards, no super rare cards or case hits. So this is the one I recommend the least. Um, with your hangers, you're gonna have your exclusive laser prisms. This is with MJ Holdings, which is Walmart and Meyer. Um, Target will have different colors, I think or all blasters might be all just Ricky lasers. And then your best cards out of here are gonna be your red and blue. So those red and blue last year were really short printed. Those were, I think, anywhere from like 10 to 20 copies of the red and the blue are just as rare, I think. So if you look up PSA pop reports, they're not gonna be in the 50s or 100s. So the best you'll be able to pull out of here is your rookie jerseys and then your silvers red and blues so the lasers will be plentiful but this these, this isn't too bad i think it's better than last year's so last year's was like just the green i think or not the green but uh just whatever was in there so it's very similar but and they also increased the checklist this year it's gonna be a lot harder to pull the hangers I think will be the best because they have red ice prisms, exclusives, four of those in a box. And then you got your green prisms. And then you got your variations, rookie variation silver prisms. So those go for decent money. But the best cards you'll be able to pull out of here are silvers, your silver rookie variations. So, but for the price, they're usually cheaper than blasters. They're a lot better quality and usually you get better hits than them almost 100%. With Mosaic, that was the best hanger product in football I've ever seen. Um, so no autograph chances that say on the box, but maybe you'd be able to pull some. But I would go with the hangers. Uh, mega boxes, you get one dirt memorabilia card per box on average. So this is the Walmart MJ Holdings. You also get the neon green pulsar prisms, which really look really nice. You'll be able to pull silvers, your green pulsars, and the, the new case hit pretty much is the black and red checkers. So those will be really rare. So you got, you got a lot of potential with the megas. Then you can get the jerseys, so. And then yeah, they used to be really good with the autographs last year, but they kind of dumbed it down just because they're going to print a lot of them this year. But um, after opening a bunch of this of previous products, I would go off the hangers, but we'll see what we get in here. All right, I'll go with the red, white, and blues first. Lavishka Chenault, Ladanian Tomlinson, and Antoine Winfield Jr. Darius Leonard, Pat Tillman, it's a nice one. Justin Simmons, Anthony Miller, Montez Sweat, Mika Fitzpatrick, Robbie Anderson, Kareem Hunt, Anthony Schwartz, Josh Allen Silver, and Nick Chubb. So not that great. So if you're gonna spend 30, 30 to 40 bucks on these packs, you're not gonna get a lot of value unless you hit that silver. 
I don't like the look of Prism this year compared to last year. It's too clunky, too much space right here. But for grading, it's great because you can you can pretty much tell like if it's centered or not. But I mean, these are just horribly off centered. That one looks pretty good. So they'll, they'll be a lot easier to tell if you should grade or not because the centering on them is pretty on point and the boxes even look like the cards. And this box is, maybe this box is off center too. So got six packs in here. David Carr. I don't know why he's in here. Travis Etienne. I think he's going to have a big year next year. Zach Wilson red. Oh, snap. This is a really rare one. And then Justin Herbert orange. So I don't know if that was easy to pull, but pulling the Zach Wilson red. Last year, that was a super short print case hit. So if that's the same case this year, that's a really, really good one to hold on to. So that's really nice. So got lucky so far. Hit a top three, three QB. Top five maybe. I like them enough. I think ETN is gonna have a big year in fantasy next year. People are sleeping on him, so he'll be cheap. Johnny Smith, Jalen Rager, Jarvis Landry, and Micah Parsons. Orange laser. So these rookie lasers, as the box says, are going to be orange lasers. It just says rookie laser instead of orange laser. But they're all going to be orange. So that's a really nice one. Micah Parsons. Hey, maybe the blasters are better than I thought. Rocky Sin. Gary Brightwell, Anthony Schwartz, Jersey, Silver Jersey Premier, and that's even a patch. And then Marlon Humphrey Orange. Hey, these, I've had a hit in every single pack, or not too bad so far, or every other pack. I've got a silver in here, Corey Davis, Bo Jackson, Pat Frymouth, Silver Rookie Prism, Nice, oops. And Jalen Waddle fireworks. I like those fireworks. All right, DJ Shark, Brian Burns, Justin Fields, and Terrace Marshall Jr. Laser. Man, this box is pretty loaded. I might be wrong on the blasters. Orange laser. All right, last pack. We've already done really well for this box. Maybe I just got really lucky. Matthew Stafford, Ed Oliver, Eric Metcalf, and Ross Blaylock. So that prism blaster was loaded. Ended up with Terrace Marshall, Orange, Justin Fields, Jalen Waddle, Pratt Fryma, Silver, Schwartz Patch, Michael Parsons Orange, Etienne and a red Zach Wilson. All right, let's see if the hanger beats it. Of course, I could have just gotten the right one out of the case, but you never know. All right, then it's just one fat pack like this. Something bent in the middle, so maybe that's a big hit. Or just your cracked ice as it looks like. All right. Quentin Nelson, JJ, Deshaun Watson, not in, even in his Browns uniform. Oh, I guess he can't be until 2022 products. Jimmy Graham, Landon Collins, Roquan Smith, Patrick Queen, Jordan Lewis, Kene Nwangwu, Taysom Hill Green, Jalen Waddle. Variation. Nice. Silver variation, pretty sweet. Tyler Higby, red cracked ice. Kenyon Drake, Derek Brown, and Tutu Atwell, rookie. And Devontae Adams, so pretty nice. 
that was not a bad hanger. So if all hangers on average, get you a silver Jalen Waddle, which is pretty nicely centered. Has a little, uh, I don't think that's a scratch, but not perfectly centered, but has a chance at 10. And then with the hangers, they'll be numbered with the V subset. So you can tell if they're variations or not. All right, let's get into the mega box. So blaster exclusive memorabilia card. So I would say one out of every two or three boxes because it doesn't guarantee it. Maybe five, maybe 10. Like I said, we could have just grabbed the super loaded blaster because there was a lot of good stuff in there. All right, you got your 10 packs in here. All right. Daniel Hunter, Drew Bledsoe, Levi on Wuzuriki, and Nico Collins, Rookie Green Prism. I like the look of these. These are really nice. Pretty sweet. I want to load up on the Justin Herberts just because how nice they look. Maybe Nico will have a big year because it seems like everybody pulls a Nico Collins. I think Davis Mills going to be the future. Got a little bit invested in him. Charles Woodson, Joe Schobert, Zayvon Collins, and Ian Book, Silver Prism. Not too bad. And if you're with the Saints, I mean, you got a chance to start. He did not do good in his start last year, though. But it's all about that experience. Here's another green pulsar. Darius Slayton, Jack Youngblood, Monty Rice, and Dalvin Cook. All right. These aren't numbered, so you only get two per box according to the Mega. Two neons, three silvers. So, unless we beat the average, we're not getting another green. Travis Fulgham, Bud Dupree, Rondell Moore, and Kyle Pitts, new recruits. J.K. Dobbins, Charles Haley, Kylan Hill, and we do got a green. Trey McKitty. All right. Not too bad. Seems like Trey McKitty's in pretty much every release. Justin Herbert. And got another green. So there's m way more than two per box on average. Jeff Okada, Quentin Nelson. Oh, got five cards. Jamar Chase, silver rookie. All right, we got five cards in here. There's four on average. Hey, that's a nice extra card to have. And then Jarvis Landry green. Still need to hit Mac and Trevor. Tom Brady. There's another green. CJ Mosley, Greg Newsom, Anthony Fisker. Fick Ferkser. I haven't really got much silver, so oh well how's our silver? Demarcus Lawrence, JJ Watt, Javon Holland, Ladarius Sneed. Legerious need, sorry. Looks like our mem pack right here. Curtis Samuel, Diami Brown, Xavier Rhodes, and Trevor Lawrence, neon green jersey patch. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Save this box. Yeah, those look pretty sweet. So those are going to be exclusive to the Megas. And that's a patch, not a jersey piece. So pretty good. All right, last pack. Hardy Nickerson, Deshaun Watson, Racy McMath, and Justin Jefferson. So all in all, not too bad. We'll go over our kind of hits. 
Sneed, Landry, McKee, Rondell Moore, Pitts, Ian Book, Terrace Marshall, Justin Fields, Jalen Waddle, Pratt Farm, Schwartz, Micah Parsons, Travis Etienne, and our hits are Trevor Lawrence, Jamar Chase, Jalen Waddle variation, and the Zach Wilson red. So overall, yep, pretty good. Um, I might flip flip my thoughts on the blasters compared to the hangers. Just because of if most blasters are lo loaded like that, I'll have to lean towards that. But I still lean towards hangers because they've always been good to me in every football product. So and that'll be it for the review. Overall, a really nice product. A little bit more expensive than Mosaic, but it's definitely a better alternative than the hobby boxes at fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars. So, and I think you're getting just as much value if you spend fifteen hundred dollars in Prism. You're, I, I think, ninety five percent of the time, probably ninety nine, you're gonna get better value out of the retail, just for what you spend. Um, and then. You can like our page at The Hobby Den, follow us on Facebook, and we appreciate it. Thank you.